you have a new spiritual status. Romans chapter 8 verses 16 to 17. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. I want us to understand that spiritually our status or our standing has completely changed now that we are in Jesus Christ. Now when we talk about status and we think about our world, the natural world in which we live, we recognize that. You know, there are people, and unfortunately, if they are of poor status, all right, they, you know, we recognize they may not have much money, they may not have much influence, much power, uh, we feel sorry, they are unfortunate, so on. Then you have people, we say, okay, they are middle class, that's their status. Then we have people who are affluent, okay, that's their status. And then we have people of high status who are in high places. They have great influence, great power. They, 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 we call them celebrities. And when they go, they go, they're surrounded by bodyguards. They, they have immense wealth. They travel in style and whatever. And they are people of that high status. And so we understand that in the natural world. While it's not necessarily always a good thing, but we understand it. Now, in the spiritual world, something has happened to your spiritual status the moment you came to be in Christ. Before we came to be in Christ, we were the poorest of the poor, spiritually speaking. I mean, we were depraved, we were corrupt, we were ruined. The enemy had control over us. But the moment we were born again, we came into Christ, something drastically changed. We went from being that poor, nobody's nothings, to becoming what the Bible says, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Now that's your spiritual status. What is it? An heir of God, a joint heir with Jesus Christ. Spiritually, that's who you are. What does that mean? The Bible refers to the Lord Jesus through his resurrection as being the firstborn from the dead, the firstborn among many brethren. Now, uh, the firstborn is the one who receives the inheritance. But now in the spiritual realm, we are in him. We are in the firstborn. So everything the firstborn receives, we have also received because we are in the firstborn. That's why the Bible says we are joint heirs. That means you've not been given anything less than what Christ has been given. Now, that's something hard for us to fathom spiritually, but that's what it's saying. We are joint heirs. Everything that belongs to Christ, it belongs to you. Everything has been given to Jesus, given, has been given to you. We are joint heirs with Christ. That's our spiritual status. Heirs of God, joint heirs. Now, as we go through this world, that's how we're supposed to live. Live out of that spiritual identity, that spiritual status that you have. You know that you're an heir of God. You know that you're a joint heir with Jesus. Live like that. In the world, in the natural world, uh, our, our positions may vary and our who we are and what we do in the natural world may vary. But spiritually, as believers, we all have one same similar status. We're heirs of God, joint heirs with Jesus, each one of us. And we can live out of that in our natural day-to-day -day life. Recognize who you are, your new status in Him. Let's pray. Father, help us to understand what you've done for us in Christ and how we can live out of that in daily life. Open our understanding. Teach us, we pray, how to walk as heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.